Okay, this garden here is planted. We've got some squash in here, just some numerous different things planted in here, but it's done. We'll just have to wait and see if it all comes up. Okay, we have potatoes planted. We've planted some here. We've got, I think, a row there. Then we've planted, these are come, they've done come up. They're doing good, I think. Oop, that cat scared me to death. Made me jump, sorry about that. <laughs> Romeo come out of nowhere and scared me to death. Oh. Potatoes are planted in here. This one's planted. We've got some things um, that are coming up over there. Kushaw squash. I know the tomatoes are tiny, but they're growing. Okay, and if you remember me showing you in the earlier video. I hope I showed it. I'm not sure, but when I cleaned this bed out, we had asparagus growing in here. If I'm picking it up, hopefully I am. Well, it was growing right here <clears throat> in a mound. It'd been here for like, I don't know, 15, 20 years or so. It'd been here a long time. Well, uh, no one had really took care of it. So we actually dug him up. This was a small root system that came off of the main the main plant we actually got another one under here right out from it and the main one that was actually the bigger one is right here growing if i'm picking him up i hope i am but he is growing right there and then we had another small one we went over to this bed and we put it right there and we did put mulch on them we kind of healed them up in the center Drape the roots over the sides to try to help with them um, to be able to have a root system because we noticed we have heavy clay here. Now the top of this bed's not real bad because my grandmother put so much good mulch and stuff, you know, wood chips on this bed for so many years. But after that asparagus roots got down, it seemed like to what looked like red clay it looked like the roots were just dead so we're trying we tried to fix it the way that we've seen on youtube where you heal up in the center drape the roots so they can run sideways so we'll see how that works and today we're planting some buckwheat and i'll let my husband tell you who this seed came from it came to us in the mail um and i will let him tell you who it came from as soon as he gets the bag up here. Come from high mowing organic seeds. Uh, they donated it for our little uh, help with the pollinators that we're trying to do here. We're going through as thick as we can. You always want a good thick stand of buckwheat so it does good and it also works a good cover crop so the sun don't bake the ground. So we're going to throw it in here and they actually sent us two of these five pound bags. We're going to do one today and then we're going to wait a week or two and sow another one. That way they'll be all set to blooms for the bees and hopefully uh, they'll get along with the bloom process. That way they'll be able to get more pollen and stuff. Go on. Eh, eh, eh. He escaped. We put them up and he escaped. Go on. Leghorn. No. Go on. Okay, he is left. We will have to corral him back up in to his little coop area, well, his lot area. And um, we're expecting rain, so hopefully the rain will help this seed to come, you know, sprout. And um, hopefully my husband's getting it good and thick. 
um, because what we planted earlier on that we ordered a pound of from somewhere else, I don't even remember where we ordered it from, um, it wasn't very thick. It was kind of spraggly and uh, we took, um, we had another company donate to us um, and we took the seed that they donated and we thickened that We've got that planted thicker now. But we really appreciate the seed that people are sending us and their interest in helping to save the bees and pollinators. It's wonderful. Yeah, you can go down a little further probably. Looks like you've got enough, don't it? Yeah. I just go down as far as I can and have it thick. This is actually our gravel, gravelly bed. <laughs> Whenever it got tilled up, it had so much gravel in it. Um, but I honestly think that probably the buckwheat will probably be a plant that won't mind the gravel, probably. I don't know for sure, but hopefully. No leghorn, go on. Have you got enough to do the whole way to the end? Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah. Do what, honey? Okay, yeah, well, I want it thick because I did not like it all spraggly looking. I like it nice and thick. Okay, well, what are you doing, honey? I'm just basically raking the dirt and trying to cover up the seed. You want me to do it? Are you able? I'm able to. I'm just going to go to the light leaves and just level it out. Okay. He's not feeling well today and our son's still asleep or he would be out here doing it. Um, the kids help us so much, don't they, Jess? Yeah. Well, this garden is almost completely planted. Now, um, I did put some tiny little peppers out, and the reason I done that, they were just dying in the pots, so. And I, for some reason, when I put them in the ground, they liven up. Um, we didn't have very many bean seeds, but what we had, I planted in here. Uh, and then over here, I planted a lot, of, a lot more little tiny tomatoes but they have livened up since I put them in here. There's something about them pots, they were dying in them.